Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And this is my first impressions look on the Way of Wade All City 12. And the All City line has been absolutely amazing for performance since, I don't know, it's been a couple years, right? But then all, like since the eight, it's been absolutely amazing. It's been one of my favorite shoe lines. And uh, it is a little expensive coming in at 150 bucks, right? So if you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave in a few link in the description box. But this is the announcement colorway and I absolutely love it. This shoe looks awesome. And also this colorway looks awesome. It kind of reminds me of the suit and tie colorway from the Curry 2. And I love the duality of the black and the white. And then the red lining also looks great, right? And also if you guys do want to get the original AC11 on sale, it's only $10, but it is a little bit cheaper than the AC12. Uh, so yeah, AC11 was an amazing shoe, right? So if you guys do want to get a little bit cheaper, then uh, definitely go ahead and cop. So again, if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave the feel link in the description box. But let's get it started right off with the Trapciones and the Traction. Pattern looks pretty interesting, right? So it says AC12. It's supposed to say AC12 on it, but it's kind of hard to see. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I guess it, you can kind of see it, right? Um, but yeah, w within the lettering of the AC12, right, with this black rubber, you can see herringbone, which is pretty cool. And then the original one also had a pretty similar herringbone traction pattern. But then outside of that, it kind of like circles out on itself a little bit with these straight lines, right, with this white rubber. And so how does the traction feel on my wood floor so far? It feels really, really good. It feels absolutely amazing. And the AC line has been really good for traction. And whatever rubber compound that they're using over at Wave of Weight has been awesome, right? All their shoes have really good traction. Uh, so yeah, it has a really nice bite and also a, li a nice little squeak. It, definitely not as squeaky as the AC11. The AC11 is super squeaky, right? The 12, not as squeaky, but it does have a nice little squeak as well. Of course, squeak has nothing to do with performance, but I like to have a nice little squeak, right? So bite seems really good. And also this is high abrasion resistant rubber, right? Which will be good for outdoor use. The rubber is really freaking hard too, like really, really hard, which is pretty interesting. So you have very hard rubber, grooves are thick and also very deep. So you should be fine on the outdoor court for the durability of the outsole. And as far as the dust performance, it doesn't seem like it's picking up that much dust. I mean, my floors, uh, there's a little bit of dog hair, there's a little bit of dust and it feels like it's biting through that pretty well. So hopefully, you know, once I playing it, it'll have amazing traction on dust, but it feels like it'll be pretty good for performance uh, from my first impressions, right? So the traction, I'm very, very excited about, you know, I'm very happy with it as well. Um, and I'm, I'm not very surprised though. I mean, like I said, you know, Wave Weight has been amazing for traction. So there's that. Moving on to the heel to toe transition, it feels like it will be very, very smooth. Right? So here in the heel, we have a very, very curved shape, right? As you guys can see, super nice. And here in the forefoot, we have a nice curved shape too. Right? And also a lot of forefoot flex. Look at that, very, very flexible, which I do like. And same thing here in the AC11. We have a very flexible forefoot, right? Um, so I do like how smooth it feels for heel to toe transition. That feels very, very nice. But also a torsional support feels like it'll be very good. It actually is a double layered, uh, they're calling it pro bar lock, but it's basically just a midfoot chain plate. And we have one here on the bottom, right? As you guys can see from right here, it's on the bottom, like basically right on top of this out. So we have it right here, right? And then on top of that, uh, if you remove the insole, you can also see another chain plate, right? It's just plastic, it's a black plastic. So a torsion support will be very, very good. So overall heel to toe transition feels very nice. And now moving on to the cushioning setup. The AC line has been absolutely amazing for cushion. And it's one of my favorite cushioning setups uh, of all time because I love how good it is at everything, right? So for example, like full length zoom struggle is super duper nice, but it is really, really bouncy, right? And for me, in my personal opinion, it's a little too bouncy for me at times. So uh, most of the time I do like it though, you know what I mean? But if I want very, very responsive cushion, it's a little too bouncy for me, but uh, the boom, this the AC12 has full length boom, right? And uh, same thing with the AC11, this shoe has full length boom. And if I remember correctly, I think the 10 also had full length boom, right? So boom is a very, very nice foam. And I do like the fact that they expose it here on the medial side here in the midfoot. You can kind of press it, squishy. It looks like boost, uh, but it's a lot better than boost in my personal opinion, because it's a lot lighter, right? Boom is a lot lighter of a foam. It's bouncier, 
right? Boost is more squishy and more soft, you know what I mean? Uh, but Boom is bouncier, it's still really soft, and it's lighter density, it, it's very, very light. So uh, I do like that, and uh, the fact that it's full length also is amazing. I mean, that makes sense because it's, uh, it's 150 bucks, you know, it's pretty expensive. Uh, as far as the insole goes, the insole is just, it's a regular insole, it's nothing amazing, right? It improves step and comfort a little bit, but then if you look underneath that, what I love about Way of Wade is that they give us very soft mesh strobe boards, right? So you can see that, and and then uh, you can see the boom right underneath the mesh. I mean, there are holes in the mesh, so you can see the actual boom. And if you press it with your finger, it's super soft. The AC11 also had, you know, that soft mesh stroboard. board. So yeah, it feels amazing here in the AC12 in the, in the heel and also in the forefoot. You can feel the boom compressing right underneath your foot, which I love, right? So uh, it's soft, it's comfortable, step and comfort is great, underfoot cushioning is great. You have a nice little bounce, right? It feels pretty much identical to the AC11. And um, yeah, core feel feels really good too, right? I love the core feel here. And that's what I love about this setup as well with the soft mesh strobe board. You can you have a very soft foam, right? Very, very soft foam, but also you can make it very, very thin uh, because you can still feel the underfoot cushion. You still have really good underfoot cushioning, which is good for impact protection. Um, and uh, you have the best of pretty much all worlds. Right, so that's why I like I like this cushioning setup, uh, and just like here in the AC11, right, it was very very caged, right, but the cage isn't super stiff. It reminds me a little bit of the Wild 10. You know, there's a little bit of compression, right, and the same thing here in the AC12, right. So, uh, right here on the side, it's a little bit softer of the cage. Like you can press it a little bit more, but it's still like. I, I would say it's a little bit stiffer feeling than the AC11. But here in the back of the shoe, you can see how caged it is. It doesn't really compress at all in the back of the shoe, right? Uh, which makes sense because Boom is very, very soft, you know? So you don't want it to be like too mushy. You would have bad stability as well if it was if the caging wasn't there. So yeah, the overall cushioning setup feels great. Feels very similar to the AC11. Also another thing I forgot to mention for the outsole is the rubber comes up here on the medial side, right? So you can get better grip when you're doing these types of movements. There's not a crazy outsole curvature, right? It doesn't curve that much, but there's a there's a little bit of rounding here. So it kind of feels like Kyrie's with the outsole curvature. I mean, I would say the AC11 had a lot more of that curve, right? That outsole curvature. Uh, but it's still uh, it's still there in the AC12, but not as much. So uh, there's that, right? And now moving on to the upper. So we have a mesh material. And this mesh material here in the toe box, right? This black material feels very similar to the material here in the AC11, right? So the AC11, I mean, it wasn't the best for quality. It feels a little flimsy as well but it's super thin conforms to your foot uh, and it is overall pretty supportive right but one thing that I like about the AC12 is they added a good amount of fuse right it's just a pretty thin layer of fuse but it feels a lot more supportive it feels a lot more durable as well and uh, it feels still pretty nice. It doesn't feel super cheap for this fused material. So here in the toe box, it feels great. It's still thin, right? Uh, here in the midfoot, it's that mesh material and you guys can see how thin it is, right? I don't know if you guys, uh, maybe it's because it's a black material, but it looks pretty much see-through here on the medial side, right? So it's a very, very thin material here in the midfoot. And uh, also for the tongue, we have a little bit of padding. It feels nice here on top of the foot, right? Uh, and then uh, it's also half booty constructed tongue, giving you a better overall one-to-one -one fit. And also here in the ankle area, the ankle area has literally zero padding, like no padding at all. I guess on the sides, there's a little bit, but, and also for this, this thing right here, you have a little bit of padding like where your Achilles is, right? Uh, but for the most part, it's very, very minimal for padding. So it's a very minimal feeling upper, which I do like, right? It feels supportive too, minimal, thin, uh, but it's not super cozy. And obviously if you want a super cozy upper, this isn't the best option, but uh, I, I really like it because I like minimal offers, right? Uh, as far as the upper quality goes, the quality feels okay. It doesn't feel super cheap or anything, uh, but it also doesn't feel like it'll be very good for durability, just like here in the AC11, because the, this black material feels really thin, right? Uh, and also I really like uh, this kind of like plastic that they have going on. You have a signature here on this, this shoe, and then on this shoe it says what? This is the new All City 2024. Mm -hmm. But I do like how it's like reflective, kind of, it's not reflective, but you know, it shines differently uh, in like different angles of light, which I do like. And also we have that same material here in the angle area as well. And we have like simple shapes for weight, which is, I think is a very cool design. So uh, there is the upper there moving on to the fit. So I went up half a size and it does run a little bit long for me. So I wish I went true to size, right? Uh, but yeah, there is a little bit of length. And in the AC11 as well, I did go off half a size, but then uh, it's a little bit shorter, which I, I liked going 
going up half the size for the AC11, but for the AC12, I feel like it runs a little bit long. So for most people, if you want a pretty snug fit lengthwise, I would say go true to size, right? But it might be pretty snug here in the toe box as well, so just be careful on that. But for most people, if you want a snug fit, go true to size. And also here in the toe box, I would say it is like, it's a normal fit. It's not super roomy, it's not super snug, but that's probably because I did go up half the size, right? And also width-wise, I would say it's around normal width, maybe slightly narrow. So overall, it, it's a pretty good fit still for me, but I just wish I went true to size because I like a very snug fit in my in my hoop shoes, right? But uh, going up half a size, I feel like it's not it's not terrible for me, right? So uh, there's a fit there. Moving on to the support in lockdown, it feels like it's gonna be very good, right? So as far as the lateral containment goes, look at this. Look at the forefoot right here. So we have this cage and it's caging the entire foam, right? Uh, but also it comes up acting as a sidewall. So it's, it's pretty much dual purpose, right? And also we have a little bit of the outsole, right? The rubber connects all the way here and comes up. And uh, that is of course very good. You know, you have a lateral counter here in the forefoot. So that feels like like it's covered here in the forefoot and then also here in the midfoot we have the the wave away logo it's this plastic piece which will be very good uh, because it's stiff, you know? And then also here in the heel, we have an internal TPU heel counter and this caging coming up acting as a sidewall. So lateral containment feels like it's gonna be very good. Also lateral stability, you can see uh, that uh, the outsole and also the midsole do protrude out. You have a little bit of an outrigger, so uh, it is a very wide base. So it'll be very good for lateral stability. And it's weird because it doesn't have any type of heel slippage. And that probably has to do with uh, the fact that it cups your heel, right? So if you look at the actual like shape, uh, of the ankle area, uh, there's not a lot of padding, which you'd be like, oh, so it probably doesn't have good heel lockdown, but it has good heel lockdown because it cups and it kind of like cups in like this. You know what I mean? Uh, and for example, in the scoots, the scoot zeros, there's a lot of padding, but the padding just goes straight down. It doesn't really cup. So there's a little bit of heel slippage in the scoot zeros for me, uh, but there's no heel slippage here in the AC12 uh, right now. So yeah, supporting lockdown feels like it's gonna be very good. And now moving on to the weight of the shoe, I feel like it'll be like around average weight, right? Yeah, 12.3 ounces. Let's check the other shoe. 12.25 ounces, right? And let's check the AC11. I feel like this will be a little heavier actually. At 12.75 so yeah I, I guess they reduce the weight a little bit here in the ac12 and it feels very minimal on foot like i said because of the upper and it feels like it'll be very responsive but also it's a very comfortable shoe which i do like you know and then moving on to the aesthetics i love it this shoe looks really really good um what do you guys think looks better the 12 or the 11 the 11 looks really good too I don't know. I feel like I like the 12 a little bit better, right? I like the logo here on the side. I love this colorway too. This colorway definitely makes it for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up. Yeah, the AC12 for my first impressions is feeling amazing. And just like for the AC11, I feel like it'll be a very good performer. And uh, it feels very similar to the AC11, which of course is a not a bad thing, right? Oh, also nothing I forgot to mention, which I don't like about the AC12 is the laces, right? So I don't know if you guys knew, but the AC11, laces also have this like ribbed kind of texture on it on the outside of the laces which kind of helps grip the laces when you tighten it right so it's less likely to come apart right but then the AC12 kind of had the same idea but then it's like siphoned off a little bit right so it's thick in some areas and it's thin in some areas and uh, it kind of I, I understand the concept right when you tighten the laces it's, it's kind of supposed to grab on and be less likely to uh, be undone as well right but it's just annoying to lace up, especially when you're really lacing it up from like the midfoot area, right? L lacing these laces up. It kind of gets stuck. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of hard to pull up and lace up. So I'm sure that'll that'll get better once I break it in. But right now, I don't really like the laces all too much, but that's the only thing. And it's a minor thing, you know? So the AC12 is feeling amazing uh, so far for my first impressions. And I'm very, very excited to play it. So that about wraps up this video. That about concludes my first impressions look on the AC12. Again, if you guys do want to call up, I try to leave an affiliate in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.